Yo, what's going on, 67 Letter Squad? Today we're playing Amaterasu. I feel like I play Amaterasu a lot, but apparently I don't. So we're going to play Amaterasu today against Tsukiyomi. A little bit spooked because Tsukiyomi is inequality, corruption, <laughs> real good. Has to stop it. But it's okay. We'll be able to, we'll come out on top. I promise. It's a tough promise to keep. I said it out loud, and I was like, yeah, maybe I shouldn't have promised that. But but you know what? I'm sticking to my guns. I promise we're going to win. Aegis. Yeah. I don't want to get ulted. Being ulted sucks, because you just die. Mm, I don't know. I kind of feel like I should have started not... Let's just keep an eye Aegis, on and I could have just got Aegis level 12 when his ult actually starts doing damage. But also... Maybe he'll kill me earlier than level 12. Or try to kill me earlier than level 12, I should say. Duke the one! Huh! Missed. Duke the one! Okay, use your fucking one. Oh, he's going Soul Eater, first item. Uh, okay, almost. Ouch. Man, it's just yeeting shit at me. Can I squeeze? Oh. Right. Nope. I think that's honestly pretty good for me. Ouch. Getting hit by the one sucks. Don't pick it up off me. I can kill here. Nice. If I didn't, uh, if I missed the silence on his stun, then I would have died. A little bit sus, a little bit scary, but it's all right. I didn't miss, so we're catching dubs. Dash through. I actually want him to hit level 5 and then feel like he can kill me with all. I'm gonna stay. So I can Aegis his ult and then dash into tower. And then ult him after. Or I can just kill him, I guess. Well, I would love to tell you that I was scared, but honestly, I've got balls of steel. I wasn't worried at all. Um, do I go power boots? I'll pick it up. Do I go power boots or do I go attack speed boots? I think over the course of the game, I would want attack speed boots more. But I think in order to snowball a win... I need to go power boots right now. Where is he? Probably going to his blue buff. Checking out his bluey. Oh, that's mine, bitch! Uh. No! You fucking thought! Come here! That's my buff. I have boots. Have you, you can't run from me. Oh, you will die. Uh. Alright, now. Now you pissed me off. You're gonna go and take my blue buff. Like I don't exist. You're gonna act like you're so much better than me. I'm gonna take your blue buff. I'm going to prove that I'm better than you, not act like it. I'm going to walk the walk and talk the talk. But I'm also going to back. Don't do it. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, man. I think I should go Transcendence and then Beat Sick. Or even... Well, I need to kill him to shut down the, the Soul Eater. 
Dax for a little bit. Did you know, fun fact, or not really that fun, but kind of, that um, Soul Leader actually gets five stacks off your own death. If you, if you build Soul Leader and then Suicide, you actually gain stacks from it. Fun fact. I didn't notice until somebody in my comment section pointed it out where I, I went from from 42 to 47 stacks on my Soul Leader when I got killed. I don't have Aegis. I shouldn't be fighting like this, but... Ooh. Juked it! Juked it! Juked it! Juked it! Are you gonna... one or...? Make me look dumb, whatever. Have you learned your lesson yet? Watch it, watch it, watch it. Oh, I juked it! I'm just waiting. I, I don't know what to do right now, so I'm just gonna... I guess I'll do red buff. Oh, I'll do the wave. Where are you? Back here. Okay. We'll do the wave and then we'll do red buff. We have time. I do want to keep my one on um, on the movement speed rather than the power because they do enough damage. Damage isn't my issue. Keeping up is my issue. You don't scare me. Thank you. Go ahead and alt. Oh no. Oh, I could kill. But I could also die. But I could kill. I could also die. But I could kill. Dead. I suck! Oh! Oh my god. Okay. I'm back. <clears throat> my bluey, dude! This should do the trick. Not again. Not again. Is it gone? <laughs> no. Oh, I will end you. Such tyranny. Where are you, bitch? Oh my god, he's full health. Soul Eater! Get away from my Bluebee. You can't have them all. I just finished Transcendence, dog. Back up. You know what? Actually, don't back up. Let's fucking go. Uh. So close. Did I do it again? No, whatever. I'll take your bluebee. Have you learned your lesson? We can do this together. Man, I've been very close to dying so many times this game and just haven't died. The white fang could be anywhere. In defense. I really need to go into some anti-heal. I actually would love if he ulted me right now. Please. Please, please. Come on. I know you want to. I won't let you down. Your middle tower is under attack. It took two tower shots to do that. Um The stun. Just hold on. We're nearly out. What's your problem? Ah, uh, Soul Leader kept him alive there. Damn. We can do this together. Hmm. 
Have you learned your lesson yet? I won't let you down. <laughs> So close, dude. So close. My boys are on there. Better safe than sorry. It was pretty stupid to run after me there, actually. He very easily could have just taken tower. Gotten a huge lead off of that. But the greed, man. The greed. I really thought I could kill him. Soul Eater is doing a lot. I really need to beat Sick Online. And I also want Toxic Blade too. Contagion is a kind of shitty item though. I don't like building it. It's not it doesn't give you enough defense to make up for the passive. Give you 60, right? Like Pestilence gives you 80. It just doesn't make sense to me. But whatever. I think he is also going beat stick right now. It does make sense. Because I'm Ama. So fucking fast, bro. Okay, I definitely lose this fight unless I thorns, so. I need to get my my healing. Oh god, that was close. He lived again. God damn, he's so low. He's no mana. Um, I have alt up soon. Probably also has alt up pretty soon though. Oh goodness, okay. If I didn't silence right there, by the way, I'm pretty sure he was waiting on mana to use his one to get the kill, so. That silence wasn't because I thought he was gonna use his stun, it was just because I thought he was gonna get enough mana to use his one and get the kill on me. This game turned so intense so fucking fast. You finished Soul Leader and became unkillable. I don't even want red buff. I still want uh, speed. I'm gonna go toxic blade. Go toxic blade and then beat stick. So thinking about my final build, I'm probably gonna sell. I'm gonna go beat stick next, or I might go stone cutting next, depending on how big of a deal his healing feels in this next fight. While I have finished toxic blade. I don't know why he decided to hit me instead of just ulting away with his CC immunity. But uh, his ult definitely did 243 damage to himself. 
Or he either thought that he could kill me because I took too much damage from Phoenix. Or he just by default hit me with his ult because that's what you're supposed to do when you ult. But... I'd be lying if I said I haven't done the same thing before. My blue! Have you learned your lesson this bastard. Yet? Fuck you. We can do this together. What's your problem? Oh no you don't. That's mine. Take my blue, I take your speed. Um, I really think stone cutting might actually be better than than beat stick next. We're shutting down his healing quite a bit. It's just the uh, just the toxic blade. On move speed. He pops sprint. I guess that's fine. I will tell you though that I would love to back and get a full stone cutting rather than having to wait, so I am gonna farm a little bit more. It's only 2500, so. Get that and then get these minis and then probably be able to back for it. Nice. That feels good. Full stone cutting. Mm, he's going for my bluebie again. No, it's my bluebie. Alright, I definitely force his ult. He dies here, I think. Um, judging on these fights and how much he's able to kite me because of the slow of his one and the slow of his three, What's your I really think Frostbound might be the play. Just completely forego any kind of extra anti-heal. And go for... Go for the extra control. I do get Phoenix here though, which is very nice. And he was definitely trying to hit me. Because he I think it would have killed me actually if he hit it. Let's get out of here. Frostbound is 2300. Going Warrior's Blessing is 466. We have 2100. I gotta get one more wave or one more buff. I kind of want to stay for the red buff though. I'm getting red buff. Seems like a fucking disaster for me. So. I'm gonna stay for it. All right, and we have our frostbound now. If he get a Kins, if he gets a Kins, he'll fucking destroy me. He doesn't have a lot of attack speed. Actually, he has more than me, apparently. Which that doesn't make sense, but whatever. Um. Have you learned your but Kins will, will shred me. I have 2600 HP, you know? Good. 
Ow. Oh. Boo face. I won't let you down. Have you learned your lesson yet? I maybe could have ulted and gotten kill there, but he popped sprint and I didn't know if my ult would hit. It probably would have. It was probably a dumb decision not to. Body block, body block. Ooh, good body block actually. Holy shit. I think body blocking him from getting into his phoenix or into his fountain that fast Actually won me the game. I mean, I, I probably would have won regardless. I was 7-0, and and I was winning every fight wholeheartedly, but it won me the game quicker, which is nice. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, guys, peace.